Hello all my model car building buddies. This is Model Cars with Glenn. And I'll be your Glenn today. So if you need any extra Glenn, just tell your waiter. Alrighty, let me move this crap out of the way and show you Donnie's picture. <laughs> How about that? That is wicked awesome right there. Let me see if the flashlight helps any. Not really. Got a glare on it. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, I need to turn off the light. Hang on a minute while I... Okay, I'm just going to have to hold it like this so it'll keep the glare off. But that's pretty nice, though, ain't it? Got cool dragon up there in the red spot. Man, that's the first time he's ever tried anything like this. It's pretty nice. I like this one. Okay, I can't sit here and hold it, though. It's hard to do. All right, kids. We got a lot of ground to cover today. So pay attention because there may be a pop quiz at the end of this. You never know. First, I got somebody finished. Let's see if flashlight helps now. No, that just washed it right out. Okay, we'll do it without the flashlight. Uh, from my friends at Spotlight Hobbies, we got... The yellow fever uh, Fiat Dragster. How about that, boy? That sucker come out nice, didn't it? This is him all done. Come up here a little closer. Hey, I like this, man. This is pretty cool. Uh, let me give a... He's driving around in circles because he's not sure where he's going just yet. Starting lines this way, buddy. How about that, though? That come out really nice. I used the... 427 Ford motor in it with uh, the blower. Let me see if I can get a better down here shot on it. Adjust my doohickey. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. A little better. Okay. This is this is him. Y'all got to get one of these, man. I love this thing. It looks so good. And you ought to see the pile of extra parts I got still in the box. I mean, I could probably scrape up a couple more tires and another body and just go ahead and build another one. And that's his guy. Okay, next. I'm going to move him over here in the staging area and bring out... Guess what I did? I painted the Lark. This is the color I'm going with. It's just a good old straight silver. I like silver. It's a good color. It shows the body lines really nice. Let me bring my doohickey back up. Lower it up. Because I had it raised down. Lark. That's all I did to it though is I've painted it. But now I can get on I can get on to the interior and get the motor in it and the outward accessories and it'll be done pretty soon now that it's now that I got the top all done. The top grafting done and the paint. I like that color though. Ain't that nice? Let me see if the flashlight helps this guy in. Uh, not really. Kind of washes it out. But there it is. I'm going to turn that back off. Lark. Okay, got to move him and move on. Like I said, got a lot of ground to cover. I have. This was a stalled project. I think I showed it to you before. It's a flat top. 60 Corvette. Is it a 60 Corvette? Where's that box? I don't know where I put the thing. Oh, down here. Hang on. It's a 62 Corvette. Now, you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it's a uh, waste, though, because you got the whole kit, and all you used out of it was the body and the hood, maybe a couple little body trim items, you know, like the headlights and taillights and bumpers and stuff. But, you know, I got a whole everything left over from this kit. And let me just show you real quick here. Hang on. Don't go nowhere. Just stay where you're at. I know you're wanting to run to the fridge. I have this 57 Corvette body. And as luck would have it, all the parts from this, this guy, all the parts from the 62 will fit under the 57 with just a little bit of modifications. I done cut the trunk open too. Because I got this from one of those 67 Chevelles. You know, it's that Pro Street chassis. And some big old tires. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and use the leftover parts from him to make this guy. 
It's 57 up Pro Street with big old monster tires under the back. And how about that, huh? That's cool as that flip front one. See, here's the front. If I can get my hand around there. Da 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 da. Front end. Okay. Well, see, now I'm not wasting a chassis. Now, you know, you're thinking, oh, yeah, but you wasted all the parts from the red one. Yeah, but the red one didn't have that many good parts in it. It was not a it was not a primo kit. It could be built nice, it, you know, and look okay. But the parts left over from this are way, way superior. Way superior. Okay, next. You know, I tell you, you need to buy like three of this kit because it can be built so many ways. All right, y'all know the 34 Ford, this guy. 34 Ford by, it started out as Lindbergh. I think it's AMT now, but you recognize it. It come, they on the box, there's three versions of it. It can be a wrecker or something like this or a stock truck. Well, in my world, it can be, this is a drag truck. This is a street rod. I've showed this one before, but he bears repeating. This is a street rod. You could drive it to the track on the weekends, do some racing, just don't tell your wife. And uh, yeah, street rod. But what else can you make out of that? You build a, build a hot rod and a street rod, so now what can you do? Well, you can build a wrecker out of it. Like this. This is a cool wrecker. That boom on the back is actually a Ford boom. The, I, I had, you remember the VCRs? Back in the days of the VCR, uh, I, I recorded a car show where they had a truck just like this with the same boom on the back. And I paused it. You could used to could do that with a VCR. Pause and rewind and frame at a time and all that. So that's what I did. I paused it and I took a lot of, I drew a lot of drawings of it to make sure I got it just the same as the one on the back of the truck. And it's just like this. I copied it perfectly, just exactly the way it showed, even right down to this cranky deal right here. And uh, uh, what do you call it? Block down there, block and chains. So, yeah, check it out. You could build a wrecker or a cool street rod or a truck to race at the drag strip. How about that? That's nice. This guy, he's got the, he's got a big Dodge engine in him. The only headers we could get to fit was the uh, factory uh, cast iron headers, but they work good. See, it's got the out the side there, and big old slicks, uh, big old slicks on the back. Forgot to keep it in the frame. Got a chute hanging down on the trunk on the deck. Uh, tailgate how about that pretty neat huh and this guy i showed you him before but he bears like i said he bears repeating got the bed cover in the back and uh that is yeah, that's another dodge engine you can tell by the valve covers and the headers it could it could go to the drag strip and race just pop the headlights off and mufflers already off run her down the drag strip if you wanted to. Not this one, though. You you wouldn't want to take him down the drag strip unless she's going to bring somebody back up that has done had a wreck. But I like wreckers, and this is my cool wrecker. Okay, hang on just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Y'all right recognize this. He's back from an extended tour on the Whirly Jigger, and he was on my very first video that I ever did but I had the phone turned sideways, so you couldn't really see him that well. So I thought I would bring him back for another appearance, where y'all could see him just a little better. This is one of my this is one of my best actually. It's Pro Mod chassis, Pro Stock either one, chassis, and a '53 Ford, the same one as the custom truck I'm working on. I chopped it, probably not as yeah, just about as far as the other one. And the front wheel wells have been moved forward, and the back whip fenders are moved forward and all the way up. And I even nosed it. I took the I took the same three inches out of the front to bring the nose the hood down in the front. 
but I thought I would show him again because he didn't really get a good showing on the first video because I had the phone turned the stupid way. And this is not the stupid way. We take the front off. Let's bring the motor up into view. Beautiful motor. I did good on that. Got the spark plug wires and got the injector wires, fuel injector wires, lines running there. Got the full interior. No drive shaft ad gummit. I figured it would have one with all the other stuff we put into it. But no. Anyway, oh, I'm moving back a little bit. Anyway, I thought I would bring him back for another show. You know, just to see what was going on. He he gets lonely up there in the in the thing. This front piece here, like I said before, it's just a flat piece of plastic. I cut it out in this shape. Put these decals. This one's a decal. This one's a decal. So, but you can't tell the difference. And uh, yeah, it looks like the stock grill though. You know, only it's lightweight and easy to manage. Let me put this back on here. It just sits on there really good. I love this truck. This is one of my favorite models. Got a nice fade job. Okay, now. Uh, for the next thing and the last thing is drum roll, please. Perfect. I got a shop card shout out. Wow, I said that wrong. Shop card shout out. Hey, hey, all the stupid puppies, shut up. Tricked them. I said stupid ones instead of smart ones. This is a shop card shout out for our new channel, Dream Big, Build Small. Can you believe that that is a diorama? I mean, look at, look at these porch lights. That's not a real building. I mean, it's real, in fact, that you can touch it, but it's a model with a model in it, and there's a dog out there in the yard. I can't tell if that's a real dog or a model. I'm telling you the truth. A little, a little picket fence in the back. Come on, man. Let me keep that. Let me keep. Let me see if the flashlight is. Yeah, it's a little better without that glare on it. Can you believe that though? That is awesome. That garage just looks awesome. You can see the two by four studs on the inside. I wish I could build a diorama like that. I may try one of these days, but wow, this is a, he's a great dude too. Wrote me some real kind words on the back. Man, I just can't get over that building though. It looks so real, like, like he done some computer work or something, use a real garage. But anyway, that is shop card shout out. Yeah. With a drum roll, I got to go get the drum and bring it back because it, it took off across the floor. And I'm afraid somebody's going to pee on it if I leave it there. I'm coming back. All right. Now, hang on. I got one last thing, and then I'm done. Okay. I've been trying to teach my dogs a new trick. I'm trying to teach them to bring me my slippers. So, let's see how this works. Puppies, go get my slippers. Come on. Go get my slippers and bring them here. Going to bring them. Yeah. Go get them. Bring them here. No, I said slippers. They brought my suit of armor instead of my slippers. Why do I need my suit of armor right now? You guys going to get bitey or something? God. Anyway, they'll get it sooner or later. Oh, man. I'm getting out of breath because I've used up all the air in the room. There ain't no air. Here's my 53 Ford truck. It's a pirate truck, actually, you'll notice. Why did they bring... <laughs> they brought me my suit of armor instead of my slippers. But they'll get it. It'll take them a while. They'll get it. And I showed you the Lark paint job, which come out awesome. And the little Fiat from Spotlight. My three trucks built from the same kit. Not the exact same kit. I mean, it's three kits of the exact model. And... This fellow. I love this guy. He's going to make a cool month. He's all. He's got all the body work done. I just got to scuff off that paint, that uh, primer, get it ready to paint, and then come up with a paint job, which I have not done yet. I figure it'll probably be a fade because that's my favorite kind of paint job. It needs to be something really slick and racy, though. You know? All the flat top, I'm going to put the... Uh, 
uh, decals from the Eliminator 2 that it was made out of and make it the Eliminator 3. Okay, after saying all that, I'm going to say give me a like and a subscribe and a comment and everything else. And thanks for watching and bye.